Okay, so differentiating x equals the minus 1x, let's see uv. So x, u equals x, and v is cos the minus 1 of 3x. u dash is 1, and v dash is minus, it'll be a minus, and cos the minus 1 of 3x is 3, because you're going to do f dash x. a is just 1, so it's 1 squared minus 3x squared minus f of x squared. So it's minus 3 over the square root of 1 minus 9x squared. So starting with this one will be that times that. So if you did the d with the x of x cos the minus 1 of x, that's going to be 1 times cos the minus 1 of 3x, and then plus x times minus 3 on root 1 minus 9x squared, which is cos the minus 1 of 3x minus 3x over root 1 minus 9x squared. So differentiating this one here, you get this, and then, so if I want to hence integrate, you isolate, but you need to isolate this on its own. So we know that cos the minus 1 of 3x will equal, if I move this one onto the other side, it'll equal d over dx of x cos the minus 1 of 3x, I've left a 3 off that one, so it should be 3x. Um, plus 3x on the square root of 1 minus 9x squared. So now if you go and you integrate this, the integral of the derivative gives you just the function, plus the integral of this next one, which is 3x over root 1 minus 9x squared. What is that? Now if you take a good look at that, that there is a function to a power or the reverse chain rule. So you need to bring it up to the top. So it's x cos the minus 1 of 3x plus the integral. Now I'm going to take the 3 out of x 1 minus 9x squared to the minus a half dx. Okay, so that's the function and there's its derivative. The derivative of 1 minus 9x squared the f dash x is actually equal to minus 18x. So that means that you need a minus 18 there, so you need to divide by minus 18. So you have x cos the minus 1 of 3x plus, now you've got plus 3 on minus 18, um, and that will give you, I'm just checking I got all my signs right, yeah, that will give you minus 1 on 6. And now, in order to integrate this part here, you have to add 1 to the indice and divide by it. So you've got 1 minus 9x squared, add 1 to minus a half, and you get a half, divide by a half. So it's x cos the minus 1 of 3x minus 1 on 6 times 2 on 1, and that'll be the square root of 1 minus 9x squared. And um, don't forget plus c, or Charlie. Don't forget Charlie. Oh, um, now we actually want between 0 and 1. So if we continue with this, we don't actually want to do the Charlie. We want to sub in our endpoints. So that means we're going to have x cos the minus 1 of 3x minus 1 on 3. So, because that cancels to 3, 1 on 3, the square root of 1 minus 9x squared. Okay, now I just noticed those um, endpoints are out of the domain, so I'm going to change it to 1 third here, so I don't have to redo the thing. So it's going to go from 0 up to 1 third, so it's going to be 1 third cos the minus 1 of 3 on 3 minus 1 third the square root of 1 minus 9 times 1 third squared minus 1 third cos the minus 1 of 0 minus 1 third the square root of 1 minus 9 times 0 squared. So finishing finishing that off now, that's going to be 1 third cos the minus 1 of 1 is 0 minus 1 third, this is going to be 1 minus 1 which is 0 minus one third, cos the minus one 
of zero. So cos of minus one of one is zero. Cos of minus one is zero is pi on two, minus one third, and this is gonna be times the square root of one. So it is going to be, and that's got a bracket there, minus pi on six plus one third or one third minus pi on six, which is two, if you times that by two, minus pi all over six, and that's your answer.